don't throw away your stale bread because you can add it to fresh and seasonal ingredients to create a show-stopping summer dish. Here to make a panzanella salad with burrata is Chef Eddie Brick. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy, Ellie. Oh, you so, love burrata. I love burrata. I love heirloom tomatoes. I can't wait. So joining Debbie at the counter is Ken and LZ. You guys can't wait for this too, I'm sure. I said we just get into it. Let's get I'm into so it. I'm so excited. I mean, so it starts with the tomatoes. Yes, starts with our tomatoes. So we have a beautiful tomato here. I'm going to show you how to cut it. We're going to cut that in half. Take off this, you know, thing right there. Yes, thank <laughs> so you, Debbie. So there's a specific way to do this. Like, you want to do it this specific way. You can just do it any way you want. Any oh. way it makes you feel better. So I'm going to show okay. you how to cut this real quick. So here's a monkey grip. For everybody that wants to learn how to use a knife at home, you know, this is the perfect way to hold the knife. And then this is what I call a monkey grip, you know, finger right here with the knife. Just kind of use your knife and slice it. Have a nice sharp knife. I oh guess, yeah. There you go. It's got to be really sharp though, because it's Correct. like to get through that skin without. Squishing Why don't you try it, right? that? I already forgot what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so <laughs> monkey grip monkey in here. Grip. Right no. there, knife. Just oh, okay, just knife. on there top. Okay. Perfect. And do I keep going over here? Yep. Okay. Monkey grip. Monkey grip. <laughs> a sharp knife is a safe. <laughs> sharp knife is the key to this yeah. salad. So okay. we have we some go. beautiful tomatoes that are already sliced. Okay. We're gonna put that in our bowl right there. Those are heirloom. These are heirloom beautiful. tomatoes. So yeah. beautiful. Those colors. Yeah. 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 Sweeter. What Reminds makes, you of summer already. What makes an heirloom like? How is it different from just a regular tomato? Uh, it's basically. Um, the where it's grown and it's summer right now. So the summer seasons is really good for the heirlooms. I'm gonna show you how to cut this onion real quick. Oh, just as wow. soon as you know how to do this real quick. Oh. Right? That's scary. Oh. And if I tried to do that, I would not have a finger right now. Yeah. Oh there my go. gosh. Yes. That was very, very cool. Okay, Thank so you. we have this in the bowl. There's more ingredients. What There's are we adding? more ingredients. So now we're gonna add some fresh uh, hot house or Persian cucumbers, whatever you find in the store. And you want to slice them like this, nice and yes. thin? Yes, always okay. thin sliced. Yes, now we got the bread, the panzanella salad. So bread means pan, panzanella. <laughs> Let me so right? this... go figure. <laughs> yeah. It's basically a, a left, uh, it's a salad with a bunch of leftovers. It was like a peasant salad back Correct. in the day. Correct, yeah, basically. It's now become a gourmet salad. Oh my gosh. Right? And yes. I actually grew up with this kind of salad, you know, born and raised at home uh, without the bread. Yeah. So I, this really reminds me of my childhood memory. Me so. And the bread has to be stale, right? You can't use because it would get too soggy, right? Uh, it no. It has to be old bread. It can, you can use day-old bread. I like prefer country or baguette. Okay. So we're going to add just a little bit of base. We added some olives in here. Now we have uh, white wine vinegar. There's no such thing as day-old bread in my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so as an Italian, I don't think so, yeah. right? <laughs> so we added some white wine vinegar. Okay. Now we're going to add some, and some olives and white vinegar. Uh, basil. Okay. So we add olives, basil, cucumbers, some white wine vinegar, and regular vinegar. Why two vinegars? Uh, the white wine vinegar basically gives that flavor, and the white vinegar is basically for that acidity, just to brighten up that salad. Because yeah. you, you smell that salad right now, mm -hmm. that's where it comes from, mm -hmm. is the natural white vinegar. Okay. Now, is there so. any sort of bread you can't use? No, there's really no uh, bread you can or cannot use. I mean, it's just... maybe not the bread in the package, the white bread, because that might get real. That's your wonders. Well, you can you, you <laughs> can use that, but maybe toast it a little. Oh, that's bit. a good that idea. Way, okay. You want the yeah. bread to have get a little, a little harder, right? Correct. Yeah, get the little crouton right. effect. Yep. Yeah. A little salt so and gonna, pepper. Yep, some pepper, some salt, right there. You can smell it already. It's, I mean, we just made this. The vinegar just. You want to add a little bit of yeah. olive oil to How that? How much? Just a splash. A lot. Just keep going. Keep, keep going. going. You tell me when, Chef. Oh, it doesn't keep going. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, just keep going, keep going. Oh my goodness, yeah. okay. Because the I bread mean, will soak it all up. Exactly. So the extra virgin olive oil, there's never enough in my house. I know, I agree. I mean, her so bread doesn't bread. last, olive oil doesn't last in my house. <laughs> we're good, good there. All righty. Excellent. So we're going to toss this. Oh. And is it ready bit. to serve, like right no. here, right now? No, it's not ready to serve because you see it. We just seasoned it with salt and pepper and we added all these ingredients. So we want to make sure that the salad gets marinated and that the bread really soaks up all those delicious heirloom tomato okay. juices. All right. all right, so we're gonna pop that in the fridge. All right, I'll pop it in. We and the actually... colors are Excellent. also so beautiful for summer. They're so yeah. vibrant. Right? Vibrant color, and they we smell. Eat, it's we a eat perfect, with our eyes and our nose. Yeah, it's a perfect Ooh. summer salad to have right by the poolside. Oh. Take it to the beach, share it with your friends. It is absolutely fantastic oh and delicious. I mean, look how, how long can it sit in the refrigerator? How long In my house, it? you can do it overnight, right. or long ahead. you oh. can. But again, it's ten be minutes hard for is me minimum. to wait. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten so. minutes is minimum. Okay. Ten minutes is minimum. Put chicken on there. Why don't you yes. do that? Yeah, I'll serve it up. And um, this isn't the end of it, though. There's more. Oh, There's I, more to this yes. dish. The star of the we show. We have yeah. the burrata touch oh, at the end. I love there you burrata. go, chef. I will hand this Perfect. to you and the burrata. Excellent. 
And I'm going to place the plates Murata right here for you. is basically you. just what mozzarella wishes it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Really. I'm going to use it for another It's one. what mozzarella, it's, it's the fancier cousin of the mozzarella. It's the exactly. Ivy League educated mozzarella. It, mm -hmm. Exactly. It's I've so always good. wondered because it's everywhere now. It but it's almost too late to ask. It's like, oh, you don't know what it is. It's just mozzarella. It's mozzarella, just softer. But like okay. mozzarella it's the, it's and the cream truffle together. of cheeses. Yeah, yeah it's it really like phenomenal. Is. There oh we go. Gosh, how, how delicious does that look? Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm trying to play this as best I can. My inner voice is always problem. screaming, hurry. And speaking hurry. of truffle, you could put some truffle oil on top of that too. Oh, uh, now you're gonna make my heart stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, yes. So good. Oh my That's gosh. Good. All right, let's All right, so we're just gonna add just a little bit of olive oil you can never top just to give it that little effect. No, never Who too much. Who loves burrata? Uh, okay. LZ went first, so see Wait, this one? On, oh, on. This one's one. got the biggest I gotta do the chef thing of burrata. Okay. It's going to you, LZ. Right? There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, I told him make it have this one with oh, the oh, head. Head. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He gets the big one. There you Kept your word, Allie. Oh, All right, now this is for go. us to dig in. Oh, I can't Let's move. Dig in. My fork this can't move so fast beautiful. enough. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, lovely. How's that? Oh, Summer no. with a punch. Woo! Yeah. You are not kidding this about so that, good, Eddie. Chef. The full recipe is available on HallmarkChannel.com. And for more on Chef Eddie Brick, you can head on over to ChefBrick.com.